coming up in this read. This person has actually seen the light, right? And, and they've realised that that rumour, th there is no truth to it. Aries, let's do your October reading. Any information that you need, as always, you can find it in my pinned comment and in my description box below. If you're cross-watching for an Aries, then please switch over the roles because I could be speaking directly to you, so the energy can sometimes be interchangeable. And please do remember that this is a general reading, which means it's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. So you only take what's resonating specifically for you and you leave what doesn't belong to you for somebody else okay please also do respect the tarot and approach it with patience an open mind and without expectations and finally if you don't want to miss a video then subscribe and stay notified okay so Aries you have got eternal youth love conquers all and courtesy right um so with this one this would indicate to me, Aries, that you're doing your best to remain as good-natured as possible in a world that is very, very, um, very harsh at the moment. So it's like, it would be the easiest thing ever to become as... Um, vicious, spiteful and selfish as everyone else who's around you. You know, the, the whole if you can't beat them, join them type thing. Uh, with this, it, it's indicating that you, you, you're definitely standing out at the moment and you're standing out because you're determined that the world is not going to make you cold and calculating and... Do you know what I mean? It, it, it's like... You're definitely going against the grain at the moment. I mean, it says thoughtful, polite and good manners, enduring loyalty, eternal love, lasting commitment and energy, newness and vitality. Um, and with that being love conquers all, well, why why would that card have come out? Do you know what I mean? So that that's where I'm getting that, um, that essence of darkness. That, that's creeping in it, it's like everyone around you at the moment is acting like a pack of wild wolves and and they're all fighting with each other and you know going at each other's throats and it's like you're not wanting any part of that you, you're still remaining polite thoughtful calm in this environment that otherwise it is really um really disruptive I'm getting the word disruptive, like people are being disruptive. Um, certain decisions that are being made at the moment are very disruptive to everybody else. And, you, you know, people taking it out on each other instead of taking it to the place where it should be taken to, this sort of thing. You, you're also as well, like this one reminds me of the, uh, the page of wands with that eternal youth, right? Energy, newness, and vitality. That screams of the page of wands for me. So that's someone who is still determined to basically keep a hold of their ambitions and their passions and, and their, um, you know, trying to keep their energy levels high, um, still, still seeking inspiration and being inspirational. Do you know what I mean? It's like someone who is looking at life in a positive way rather than allowing the, the stress of life to, to drag them under. Do you know what I mean? It, it definitely has that essence to it, especially with it coming out right next to this one. Enduring loyalty, eternal love and lasting commitment. Yeah. Um, I'm getting like the ace of cups off this one. And then the Knight of Cups off of this one here. It could be for some of you, I mean, you, you could be dealing with a water sign, uh, Pisces specifically for some of you. I don't know why that's coming through. Um, I don't know how they would be fitting in with this either. But some of, some of you, there is this Piscean vibe around you, definitely, Aries. 
Um, I mean, that, that could just be about your subconscious as well. Like all of this, this could be going on at a subconscious level. So it's like with, with you aspiring to be part of a better world and a better way of doing things, it's like subconsciously you know that in order to be a part of that kind of world, that, that you want to see, that you need to lead by example. That's why it's thoughtful, polite and good manners, lasting commitment, eternal love, enduring loyalty, you know. Um, it's very mystical with this energy, really, really mystical. Um, again, just because of that Piscean influence, I, I would be intrigued to see what else comes out of your tarot spread, to be honest with you. Um, it's an interesting one so far. Okay, so I'll just make room for your tarot. Let's see if I can. <laughs> and you've got the anti-hero under there, the maverick risk taker and rule breaker. Yeah, I did say that at the moment you were going against the grain, didn't I? That that's the rebel, like the the spiritual rebel. But the way that you're rebelling is with love conquering all like you you're being really um good natured aries really good natured and definitely a good example for everyone else as well especially when you know when things are so chaotic and everyone's sort of wrapped up in their own thing and forgetting to be polite to other people it's like well Aries you, you, you're still remembering your manners even though you could be furious underneath you know it's like say you, you go to a coffee shop or something you, you're still remembering your manners you know you're still being polite to the person behind the counter because it, it's like that yeah okay fair enough I'm having a shitty day but you know what? I don't have to make everyone else's day a shitty one too it, it, it's that it's that exact energy that I'm getting off of you for, for the month of October like you, you're not you're determined in fact to not add to what is already a stressful environment you know you're still fully aware that everyone else has their shit going on too it's um it's very thoughtful what's going on please for the Aries collective for October the eight of swords Okay, right. Um, you might find, Aries, that there's a lot of work that's coming your way, um, like extra responsibilities, extra duties, that sort of thing. For some of you, it could be like overtime at a workplace. For others of you, you could find that your social life could just all of a sudden become unusually super, super busy. Um, it, it's like everything is going to come at you at once, basically. Okay, right. So for your cards, you've got the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Wands and Justice. So, I mean, some of you could be dealing with the Libra. You could have Libra placements in your own chart. Uh, Page of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Okay, that's, that's intriguing, right? So we're going to take a closer look at these two find out what that's all about because I feel that some of you are about to receive some kind of an apology here and it's come out with the page of swords in reverse right um I, I think I see exactly what's going on here you've got the emperor that's come out now as well that's your major arcana five of cups that's come out in reverse okay Ooh, and the tower. It's another one of your cards. Scorpio also, for some of you, with the world. Fixed energy. Um, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. It's ruled by Saturn, so potentially Capricorn energy there too. And under there, the chariot. Cancerian. Okay, that's like... Uh, you, you, you've closed the door on something or someone and moved on. 
And like, as far as you're concerned, that was the end of the situation. You got the four of wands underneath that one too. Um, yeah, you focused on your own stability, on your own growth. You focused on what it is that, that you're doing rather than being focused on other people and what they're doing. Um, you've got someone around you, Aries, who was very, very involved in your business. With that, the page of swords, uh, it's a funny one because when it comes out in the upright position, I'm okay with it. Right. It, 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 it can be a multitude of lots of different things, but on the whole, when, the, when this is in upright, I'm OK with it. When it comes out in reverse, it can indicate that look, somebody's got a bee in their bonnet. Uh, someone's taken offence at something and they're basically looking for reasons to hate on another person. Like it can be spying with bad intent. Right. Um, now, it's come out with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Swords right next to each other. So what's going on here, Aries, is this person, the one who's got a bit of a bee in their bonnet with you, they heard a rumour about you, right? Because Page of Swords in reverse, that can also be a lie, Some, you know, someone lying. Um, so someone's heard a rumour about you specifically. And instead of thinking for themselves and fact checking, they took that rumor as being gospel and they believed that about you. Whatever that was, they believed it about you. Now, here's the thing, Aries, because of these two here that have come out next to it, it tells me that this person has actually seen the light, right? And and they've realized that that rumor, th th there is no truth to it. So this individual who judged you from the get go, w without judging you from what they know about you or, or waiting to learn more about you through their own experience of time spent with you, if you catch my drift, um, that they're like, I shouldn't have done that. I was completely wrong about you. Page of Cups, Ace of Swords. Like, th this could be someone coming up to you and saying, Aries, when I first met you, I thought you were this, that, and the next. And guess what? I was completely wrong. That That's what that energy is there. Can you tell us about Page of Swords reversed, please? Yeah, that absolutely ties in as well with your Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands and Justice. It completely ties in with that. Because it's like we've got you here, Aries, sitting there in your head trying to figure out what the fuck is it that this person's got against me? I've never done anything to them. I've never said anything out of order to them. But they, they've got this thing about me. I can't, I can't figure it out. And it put you on the defensive of course it would because someone all of a sudden or like the second that you meet them has got an attitude for you and they're not saying why of course you're going to go on the defensive with them but guess what justice coming out here as well that's like like this situation is being repaired it, it's being resolved um, I wouldn't be too surprised, Aries, if this was basically a sabotage from a third person deliberately. Like, straight up. Uh, I'll try and find out. Tell, tell us about the Page of Swords reversed, please. For Aries Collective. Oh, okay. The Knight of Coins. It could have been... Could have been an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could have been, doesn't have to be. Uh, for some of you, it could have been a Cancerian as well. Uh, it, it's funny because I was just looking at this pile here. Like you would have seen me do that with the cards. I was putting them back in the correct order because when I put them down, I actually put them down in the incorrect order as to what they came out as. But I do remember specifically the world came out first, then the chariot. So I should have laid it like that, but I didn't. So I corrected it. 
and the chariot was in the position where it shouldn't have been. So it could be a Cancerian might well have been in competition with you, Aries, and they tried to get in front of you. Like, literally, they tried to get in front of you. Um, again, like, th th this could be anything. It could be a family member, a friend, or a frenemy in this particular case, uh, a work colleague. Uh, you know, someone trying to get in front of you, someone someone trying to um, take your light, stand stand in your spotlight sort of thing. Uh, because it's blatantly clear to me, reading this energy, that Aries, you get a lot of attention. You get a lot of attention. Whatever it is that you're doing, keep doing it because you're definitely getting a lot of attention and you're getting attention from the correct people. Because when you think about it, like that person clearly, because they tried to get in front of you, that indicates jealousy. Now, why would somebody be jealous? Because you've got something that they haven't got, right? Uh, otherwise, why, why would they be jealous? Why, why would anybody? be jealous and act in that sort of way. You've got something that they want and they want it because they haven't got it. Um, so look at it that way, right? Look at it that way. And also as well, with the Knights of Coins, this indicates to me that this could have happened a while ago and you're only just finding out about it now. Or you're only just getting this apology from the person who listened to the bullshit through the month of October. So it's like for some of you, this could have happened world a year ago. For others of you, this could have happened a lot longer ago, like between seven and 10 years ago. And you're only just getting this apology now. This indicates a long time. So this happened a long, long time ago. And you're gonna be sitting there scratching your head like, yeah, why, why the fuck is this person all of a sudden just apologising to me now? Like, th this literally happened a lifetime ago for a lot of you. Because remember, you, your overall energy was like, you had already closed a chapter, you'd already closed a door. As far as you were concerned, something was over, done and finished a long, 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 long time ago. But you're only now just getting the justice that you deserve. And with that being red as well, it's one of your colours. Red is going to be super, super lucky f for you specifically throughout the month of October. So wear something red. Wear something red. Even if it's not anything that anyone else could see, you know, red red underwear. N no one else has to see it, but y you know that it's there. Um, it's also a colour of power. So... You've literally have the power in your hands, Aries. The ball, the ball is well and truly in your court. Well and truly. Can you tell us about this page of cups and ace of swords for Aries, please? Page and the ace. Why is this here, please? Oh, that's loads. Okay. Four of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Swords, Four of Swords. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know why with that particular combination. It, it, it's an interesting Four of Swords as well. Uh, it's like time, time is a good healer. It is a good healer. Um, it doesn't fix everything, but it certainly uh, makes certain pains more bearable, right? Four of Wands, Queen of Wands, King of Swords and Four of Swords. Yeah, it's like you could be seeing a lot of 444 at this point in time as well, which is all about like stability. So if, if you have felt like things have been unstable for a while you're gonna see evidence of stability returning into your life where you falls 
Um, it's also like hard work, pragmatism, structure, forward focus, not being stuck on the past. You know, I, I, I feel strongly, Eddie's, with this particular combination that this conversation is going to go well. It, it, it's, it looks like it's going to go really, really well. Definitely. Um, the person who initially believed that gossipy bullshit about you, that they, they, they're using their head now. Like, they're seeing evidence of you not being anything like the way that the shit stirrer had described you to be. Like, they're seeing it for themselves. So... It's interesting that the Queen of Wands is here as well, isn't it? So, like, don't get caught up in the gender, okay? It's just the polarization of the feminine and masculine principle. We all have both within us. Um, but I, I, feel that, I feel that this energy is definitely you. Like, even if you identify as being a masculine, right? I still think that you're taking on this Queen of Wands energy someone who is very very attractive not just physically attractive but spiritually attractive as well um you know that there's only so far that physical looks can take someone right the internal beauty is what's going to carry you the rest of the way and a lot of yous are externally and internally very sort of queen of wands type you know very very beautiful or very handsome very uh, like, let's just say aesthetically pleasing right but then it's like that the way that you think as well and the things that you do and the way that you carry yourself it it like you, you're presenting yourself to the world as this beautiful beautiful package and it's very very attractive it's very magnetic you're energetically uh pulling in a lot of attention to you and as you'll already know when you attract a lot of attention towards yourself not all of it is going to be good right i mean you've already been through it not all of it was good but what we see happening is something unjust was done to you and it's it it's being repaired like as we speak as we speak it this is being balanced out that's why you've got the emperor the five of cups reversed and then the tower so you're sitting there and you're like you've got your head turned to this five of cups in reverse and it's like look someone else's regret is not my problem it sounds it sounds harsh for me saying it but it actually isn't harsh when you think about it it's like look i'm you're saying i'm not responsible for the things that other people do think say or feel the happiness of others is not my responsibility and you're absolutely correct and remember we started off your read with you not adding to an already um toxic or disruptive environment by you not being that way as well so that's some solid ass boundary work Aries it really is it's like you're saying yeah I'm a good person I treat other people with respect I don't take my anger out on everybody else I'm not going to make someone else feel crap and shitty about their day because I'm having a crap and shitty day but equally I'm, I'm not going to go out of my way and try and make other people feel happy and and fulfilled and whole because that part is not my job that bit comes from within them not not from me like literally and this tower that that's a revelation that this is the revelation that, that you have been having um probably throughout the month of september and now you're entering into 
October with this new mindset that actually, yeah, thing, things are going to be different. And do you know what? With that being a tower, yes, it could be disruptive to other people. But guess what? That's also not my problem. Because Aries, you know full well that what you what you say is on you, but the way that other people take that and interpret it or misinterpret it, that's not your problem. Because whatever else goes on in someone else's head, you're not in control of that. You're not. That's the revelation that you've had. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And then at the bottom of the deck, you've got the five of wands. Because you used to worry about it. You used to panic and stay awake late at night, worried about people misunderstanding you or taking something that you said or did way out of context. It's like, you're not wasting your time doing that anymore. Not at all. Absolutely beautiful. What else, please, for Aries? So, yeah, I do see that this individual who has got an honest, heartfelt apology for you, Aries, they mean it. Like, they, they feel you mean it. Listen, whatever you do, that it's completely your decision. It's not my job to tell anybody what to do. It really, really isn't. I'm just reading the energy. I do see that conversation's going to go really, really well one way or the other, whatever you decide. Else, please, for Eddie's. Okay, that was, uh, that felt tired and sloppy, the way that that came out, so, I don't know, I mean, that could say quite a lot about your current energy, Eddie's, you know? tired and fed up of other people's bullshit. Right, so you've got number 11, the dried flower fairy and sweet memories. Interesting. So that could be like the six of cups type thing. Um, the sweet memories of nostalgia. Let's have a look. Number 11. Oh, that's spooky because I literally just opened up the book and straight away it's on the correct card. That never happens. <laughs> Ever. So, yeah, even though it felt sloppy and lethargic the way that that card came out, clearly it was supposed to come out. Right. Um, so it says this little uh, this darling little fairy just loves to collect memories and treasure them, wearing them as garlands. Their sweet faded fragrance reminds her of happy times. She helps you by collecting all of your happy, sweet memories and keeps them from fading, too. She has wings that resemble the wonderful monarch butterfly, which is renowned for the vast distances that it can travel. So these memories could be of very long ago, down through the ages, but they're still able to fly to you and reach you with their message of love and sweetness wherever you currently find yourself. When you experience a difficult and challenging time, the dried flower fairy flies to your side, showing you a moment that you had forgotten, and magically the present moment transforms. You will always have her with you, especially in the times when those sweet memories seem the furthest away. She will come to you and she will remain with you. Expect calls out of the blue bumping into old friends, a photograph of a loved one, or a reminder of happiness coming to you in other sweet and serendipitous ways. Do you remember that time when you played with the fairies in the garden? Do you remember when your imaginary friend was more real than your own parents? What about the first time you ever noticed your shadow quivering in the light? Swam the sparkling sea, held hands or exchanged glances with someone that you liked more than just friends? When, uh, when you were given a gift for no apparent reason? Or when you were hugged by a friend and had a perfect day? When you found messages from angels in the clouds? You seem to have forgotten Gotten all of the precious moments, so I've been busy gathering them all up for you. I now return them to you so that your sadness can be transformed. 
Let happiness, bliss and gifts for no reason become the possibilities that you believe in again. When I see you smile and treasure a moment from the past in the present, I will know that my work has been done. You may soon be experiencing little reminders of some of the sweetest, most fun and uplifting times in your life. The kind that have no great significance historically, but in the story that is your life, they are pivotal moments. It could be seeing a rainbow or a star shining bright or a photograph or receiving the knowledge and sudden realisation that something that you did made a large and meaningful difference to someone else's life. You have so many jewels. It's time to sift through the precious moments in memory, and by honouring these and feeling them again, you change the present for the better. The magic of your sweetest memories will be worked into the present moment and your current struggle will be momentarily relieved and that transcendent feeling of being at one with all that is will return, giving you the strength to go on and do what must be done. Wow. So some of you have been getting like random memories that have been popping up again, like out of nowhere, just just completely randomly. Um and again, like it does actually tie in with this strange person who you've not been in contact with for so, so long. Like for, for some of you, it's an incident that happened between eight and ten years ago where, where you had done wrong. And, you know, you decided to walk away and close that chapter of your life for good because this person was adamant that, that they were going to misunderstand or misinterpret you somehow. And you're like, fine, you know what, you're lost, I'm done. All of a sudden they pop up again out of the blue. It it does actually tie in with that energy. Hmm, sweet memories. It's been a bit of a a bit of a deep read all round for you there, Aries. else please for Eddie's collective oh okay right so I'm gonna have to shuffle through that deck again Eddie's that was really really unclear because you had like eight of those cards that wanted to come out at once Right, there we go. That was super clear. Okay, we can do this. Feeling like there's no fight left in you? Well, how about if we said it's not necessarily the fighting spirit that you need, as that indicates a struggle. This is just a challenge and you're, you're going to easy breezy flow through it. Find the determination in knowing that it's achievable. Okay, um... There, there's the that feeling of tiredness and exhaustion then. Um, I really do think at this point in time, Eddie's, that the last person that you would ever, 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 ever expect an apology from, you're going to be receiving an apology from them. And it's like, you fought for so so long to try and get this person to see things from your perspective from your point of view and they never ever did and as soon as soon as you had this epiphany it's like the energy around you just shifted in such a way that it was felt by this other person as well which is why you're now getting this apology. Mm. I'd keep an open mind with this one, Eddie's, because I, I have a strange suspicion that um, things are about to get really, really interesting f for you specifically throughout this month. Okay, so yeah, I do need to leave that one there, Aries. If you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading that is more catered towards your own personal needs, then you can place your booking at phoenixkiatarot.com. 
In fact, it really is a good time for you to place your book in uh, because I'm in the UK and the pound has just gone down the toilet. So if, if you're overseas from the UK, then technically you would be getting quite a hefty discount. So, I mean, there is that, right? <laughs> right, so that is what I have for you, Aries. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.